Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through numbers up to 1000. So let's have a look at the question we're going to work through. Now suppose you have these numbers 941, 732, 927, 867, 654. So those are our sets, set of numbers. And the task is to reorder them running from the smallest to the largest number. But first things first, let's uh, draw the boxes that you would typically see. The answers are going to go in here. And we've got the smallest number at the top and the largest number at the bottom. So let's have a look at our numbers. We've got five sets of numbers. And what do we do? We start with the digit on the left hand side. That is this one here, the hundreds column. So let's go through each of the numbers and write down how many hundreds they've got. 941 has got nine hundreds. 732 has got seven hundreds. 927, there are nine hundreds. 867, there are eight hundreds. And lastly, 654 has six hundreds. So that is the hundreds. Now, what do you notice about the numbers? Well, we notice that two of the numbers are the same. That's nine and nine. That means that those two numbers that's this one here, 941 and 927, we cannot distinguish which is the larger number and which is a smaller number just by looking at the hundreds. But we're going to leave that just for now. We're going to work on the other numbers. We're going to work on the, um, the other numbers for the hundreds. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out which of those are the smallest and which is the largest. So which numbers do we have? We've got 7, 8, and 6. 7, 8, 6. Now which is the smallest number out of those? Now you should know this. 7, 8, 6, which is the smallest number? It is 6. So this is the smallest number out of all of these. And we can write this down in the box. 654 smallest number at the top. So we've done the first one. So we've done 6. Now which is the other digit we're looking at? We're left with 7 and 8. Which one is smaller, 7 or 8? Again, it's a nice easy one. The smaller one is 7. So we can now write down this number as well in the box below. So we've got now here 732. Now, we are left with just one number there. That is the 8. That number is 867. So we can write this down. 867. I forgot to give that a little tick over here. So we've done three numbers so far. The numbers that are remaining are... It's this one here. And this one here. Both of these are 9. Now, because they're the same, we have to look at the tens in each of these numbers. Now let's have a look at the tens. In the first one there are, what's this one here, there are four tens. 941 has got four tens. The next one there are, 927 has two tens. Now because these two numbers are different, we can work out which is smaller and which is larger. So which is the smaller number? Smallest, the smaller number is this one, 2. So therefore, we can write down this number, which is 927. So let's write this in the box, 927. That leaves just 
one number, 941. And we've done it. We have reordered the numbers into a list starting from the smallest at the top to the largest at the bottom. And that is how we order numbers up to 1,000.